Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 11 of Project Architect and the game was updated over the weekend. So um, I'm not sure what adds this mod but if you look up in the top left hand corner you can see exactly how much EMC you have which is awesome. I don't have a lot because I've been making um, power flowers which is pretty cool. I made the... Oh, I can't jump around that side. I made the Watch of Flowing Time. I think I have it set up correctly, but not 100% on that. But it's supposed to make your um, power flowers go a little bit faster. So this one I made as a, pu as a full power flower, and it's... I got the bright idea of at least getting making more of these the mark three collect energy collectors because so, the more i have the faster it's going to be right and i've got two more this one i think is a full one as well look yes this one's a full one i think and that's making alchemical coal uh this one is also doing alchemical coal it's smaller but it has um mark twos and mark threes on it so it's going a lot I know there's a couple of mark there's one mark one but it's going mark twos and mark threes so it's going a little bit faster and basically to do a basic power flower it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be um so I probably could have done at least a very a very basic one at end of last episode but it's okay but basically you put an energy collector on the bottom put an antimatter relay on top of it and then you put the energy condenser and that is the most basic one you can have and then whatever you want to make put it up here in this slot in the top left and it will make more all right so i've been experimenting with different things um i had it making uh tables at one point these tables the transmutation tables and i just settled on alchemical coal at least this one, like I said, it's bigger, and I've got it doing energy collector. So at least I can get some more to add to my power flowers. And, um, and that's basically what I did. I did leave it running for a while, and I think I got about 3 million RF, RF? 3 million EMC, and then I made more. And, um... I did say the pack got updated over the weekend. Luxnet works. It's supposed to be in this. I didn't check it. Uh, yes, it is, which is awesome, because then we can have, you know, wireless power. Good, because I like that. Um, also, chosen. Um, did a video over the. The, was it over the weekend or maybe I watched it over the weekend but it may have been on Friday where um, he basically um, got lava from the EMC table and he using a what was it EMC link yeah one of these right and so it was hooked up to a placer and it was uh the placer was would take out a bucket of lava so yeah so the ear so the placer would take the bucket of lava from the emc link and place it in a magma crucible no place it in a um a tank that would fill with lava and then that in turn was filling he had like 15 magma crucibles i can't remember exactly but he had a, a whole set of magma crucibles around you know being piped from this tank so you'd always have like and it was an ender tank so you'd always have a constant supply of lava being generated from the emc but he had a lot of emc obviously right so eventually i would like to do something like that right so that that uh, we can have unlimited power but i don't have to worry about getting lava from the nether or anywhere else 
Although I went exploring in this cave. We're still ablaze, aren't we? Yes, we are. Right, let's go over. Because the cave system is intense. There is loads of stuff. And um, I went through lighting up. So as you can see, this cave system, I think, leads out to, uh, I think it's out here. There is another cave system that I found that leads out here. I was lighting, out, lighting up out here. I found a huge lava lake the back here. Absolutely huge. So if we needed to, you know, I didn't have to pull lava from the nether. I could pull it from here and it would be fine. Oh, it goes out this way. I didn't even see that. So this is a ravine. Leads down to an amethyst cave because this, um, this has got 1.18 features, even though it's not 1.18, 1.16. Uh, what else did I do? That was pretty much it. To be. I just did a lot of exploring. All these cave shafts connected. Because this comes out at the back of our, um... Where are we? At Rosefields? No, which village? Rosefields is there. So this is the back of the big hill. That's behind my house. And when I first went into the cave system, so there you go, see? There's the big hill where the, the pillagers always come over. And there's a big old cave out this way. It's close to the two um, um, towers. Two warrior towers. Um, warrior wizard towers. In here, the big old cave system. And I just in and i start i just flew around i was lighting it up thinking i could come in and you know have a look also jumped into water do i have any food on me and um i just went from there and i went flying around and i just lit it up because but i just want to see what was in here if there was any interesting caves or anything like that and um yeah they're all interconnected pretty sure if i went back round this way i'd end up back round round by my cave they're all oh my what the hell what are you what are you cave centipede yeah let's keep you I'm so glad I'm a I'm a blaze because if I was a um if I was normal normal yeah if if I wasn't a blaze it would have attacked me and I'm pretty sure those things hurt they hurt in real life they're very dangerous in real life so yeah that does not look like a tough one so that's that's basic because I was flying around waiting for AMC to generate where are we here? Oh yes, I came out here and then it kind of like the back side of somewhere. I don't know. Are you not going up? I should be going up. So yeah, so that's basically what I I did. But now it's kind of like thinking we need more EMC. I want more EMC generated. Don't want go this way. We want more EMC to be generated. And I thought, you know what? We can do we can start industrial foregoing. Because to get latex um and to get plastic, you don't need any power. I mean you can use power so that, you know, it generates faster but you don't need power to start with oh yes i think i mentioned somebody had said that when the lightning flashes there is a boss mob 
somewhere close by and I found that when I was um when I was out and you can see where that lightning landed wherever it landed is where the boss mob is I find that and um I got killed out there because they are dangerous actually I took out two boss mobs first one I was able to take it out by bow and then um and then I just went in close and finished them off. It was fine. And then the second one, I got cocky and I thought, yeah, I can go in with my my, with my big old axe, the broad axe, and kill them. Yeah, didn't happen. And they killed me. So that was fun. I got killed up in a tree, actually. And I got killed as a blaze. So I woke up as a blaze and went back for my stuff. So yeah, not doing that again in a hurry. I mean, you do get, you know, I think I got a shield, both of them, shield each, but that was cool. See, this always makes me laugh, the little feet just going round and round and round. So, um, uh, like that side of the bed. So, yeah, so, um, what was I saying? Latex to make plastic. And then we can make a mob imprisonment tool because I was flying around the nether. Um, I made a magnet. It's in a curio slot. Uh, what's this? Oh, yes, mana boost. The Fluxo magnet. So it attracts items using flux. I think it was quite simple to make. There you go. Yeah, dead easy. So I've got those. I made that. That's fine. And I also made a red a pulverizer and a redstone furnace. So I'm going to upgrade these at some point. Oh, this four. Didn't even realise. I'm going to upgrade these at some point, but now I can at least all double. If I need to. So then at least I can, you know, put things in and get the EMC. Uh what else did we get? Fiery glass. So there's that so yeah um plastic i want to make plastic because plastic is emcable and then we can make a mob imprisonment tool and i thought we can bring back a couple of of um villagers and persuade them very um what's the word very nicely to come and live at our place to get their own little stall and we could trade with them whenever we feel like and get more emeralds that way so you know we've got different ways of getting emc so um let me consult my list see i'm making lists i'm getting organized this is awesome so according to my list um latex processing new unit i need fluid extractor and a block placer i'm not sure if the block placer um that might need power i don't know click click has one but I don't know if it needs power. So, um, fluid extractor. And I don't know why I have caps on. Uh, fluid extractor, power optional. There you go. So we need a piston, a uh, mini cobblestone, iron, a lightweighted pressure plate, and pity machine frame. Pity machine frame, we can bookmark this. And let's do it that's interesting just press shift and all of these have got varying amounts of power in them never seen that happen before that's quite funny that should work right so we've got our fluid extractor what you do with that we can put this down and at least get it you know doing its thing while we make the other stuff. But here we want Aesir to get a stack of you. So we don't need the stack right right now. Yeah, so it puts down facing away from you. Right, so we've got four block place block places for um four of these things. One down and it should start. They're all collecting latex. We just need a bucket. And do I have any kind of tank? I think I only have... Oh, I've got a singularity tank. That's... 
there and need oh where's my wrench from the pipes mod there it is i that there out the bottom it will start pulling here you should get enough to make a bucket of latex once we make a bucket of l no yes once we make a bucket of latex then we can make the latex processing unit and once we pro once we get that then we can make rubber do i have a bucket on me no this would turn it round oh that's the crescent hammer oh you're doing nice and um here okay we're getting lots of dimlets and stuff i think we're gonna have to do rf tools i mentioned just because we can it's in here right so that's making we were looking for a bucket i told you i uh what i didn't know the crescent hammer could do that Ooh, cool uh bucket i don't think a bucket of latex is a Oh, you know what? I am such an idiot. I need to put this up one because am I going to get, am I going to see, you know, I bet you that's finished. <sighs> All right, let's see what's in. Yep. So that's doing what it's supposed to do. I don't think that has a full bucket yet, which is probably why we couldn't take it out. It's a pity it doesn't tell you how many Miller buckets of stuff is in there because now i come to think of it this doesn't tell you how many buckets it just shows you that it's filling up which is a shame right so we've got that going let's get the ingredient to make Is there anything else we can do while we're waiting we can s oh. i don't really want to do lots of stuff yet because we don't have a lot of emc anymore and also is a bucket of latex emcable i don't know caps lock again uh bucket no it's not emcable all right which makes sense i had to take a phone call and i forgot what i was doing i left the game running in the background um we were checking for latex is that a bucket? That looks like it could be a bucket. There you go. So we want the latex processing unit. Oh yes, I was wondering what I could do while I was waiting. And as it turned out, take a phone call. Uh, right, latex processing unit. And um, I think that might need power. Right, bucket of water, bucket of latex, redstone, furnace, pretty machine frame, iron, a redstone block, furnace, there you go, and iron, iron, oh, we had one extra, pretty machine frame, okay, so latex processing unit, that, then the next question, do you need power, and I think it does, yep, it does. Uh, I guess we could look at flux networks then? This might end up being a longer episode, I don't know. Depends on what we need. Right, let's see if I remember what we need. We need flux dust. Compressing rod redstone dust with bedrock and obsidian. Okay, so you go down to bedrock. Left click the obsidian. Okay. I Y plus one redstone dust, Y plus zero reds. Okay. I don't know if that's position I I don't know. Convenient piece of red bedrock. So uh throw that oh I didn't hit it, didn't I? Th oh, I might have hit it. Throw that down. Where's the obsidian? Oh, 
Pooey. Right, let's be a little quicker this time. Go back. You throw it. No. Bedrock. It. No, it might. Oh. Throw it. Really? I would have thought. Oh dear me. All right, let's see minor. I can I can hear everybody saying, "Shay, you're a noob. You're a definite noob." Right, throw you down. Throw you down. Nope. That is left click. Throw you down. Let, oh god. I do that? No. <laughs> Why is it so difficult? All right, let's have a look at the little thing again. Left click on the obsidian. I don't understand. Left click the obsidian on what? On the dust? That is left. I know I have problems with it, but I do know my left from my right. At least this time round. Alright, let's do this again. No. Oh, is it because I'm too close? Let's try that. Not right click, because right click will place it. Just had to make sure that I had the correct click. Um, I'm doing something stupid, aren't I? I know it's something really simple. I'm missing but I don't know I will be back the instructions could have been a well kind of right it has this it says left click the obsidian all right and you've got that going up and down and this now makes sense you've got the bedrock on the floor you put the you put the redstone dust on top of the on top of the red on, on top of the bedrock and then you put the obsidian on the block above the redstone dust so you literally stick it to the wall and then you left click the obsidian and it would drop down on it See, that is not i didn't or as you as you saw i didn't get that All right so that goes there you um Throw that down. Of course it helps if it actually goes where it's supposed to go. Then you left click the obsidian and that's what happens. Yeah. That that wasn't well to me that wasn't immediately clear, obviously. Because you just watched me struggle with it. So um so yeah, I mean because I think before you had to throw it in lava. Right, let's get home before get killed i didn't even look to see what was behind me but that's okay right um that's emc fine also need block flux block but that needs cores the next thing obsidian dust and i three four of those three of those and one makes four and Fire vendor core makes four of those. EMCU. Then we need to make blocks. That's dust. Five dust and four cores. Block. Then we need to make. Also, I can't read it. That's a plug as a point. And they're both EMCable. So the plug, which is a block and four cores. And the point is four cores and redstone a block of redstone and we need eight eight cores right so put you in the middle makes plug that receives energy and then put you in the middle the redstone and we make a point and it provides energy we emc the both of you now what else do we have a flux controller that's a block dust five blocks two dust and a core 
controller and then your flux storage is six blocks and paint Pains are EMCable, like normal pains. Oh, that'd be brilliant if they are glass. No, so how is? I don't understand. All right, which ones? Are EM normal pain isn't, but some of the glass panes are. Is bizarre. That is really bizarre. All right, how do you make orange? Oh, at least I don't have to make orange glass. All right, um, we have orange dye. I did go and make all the dyes. I was bored, and I went and made all the dyes. And we want eight bits of glass beans. You can actually do it in here. Orange stained glass, and that's EMCable. I wonder why some is um some is EMCable and others aren't. Right, what were we making? I can't remember. Storage. So we wanted the basic storage. Herculean makes is that and gargantuan. Okay, they're quite easy to make. Right, so we just need six flux blocks glass there the two glass on the sides and box on top and bottom and there storage right let's you and you we need to make a configurator two dust two obsidian and an eye bender i remember watching um somebody's let's play and they were kind of like, why do you need, why do you need a configurator? It doesn't do anything. As far as I know, you can copy and paste, um, you can copy and paste, um, your settings from one point to the, or one, yeah, from one point to the next. So, you know, that's pretty cool. That's using that block of coal in that one that one is alchemical blocks we can probably use all right let's go behind it so we can see it we need to put down our flux controller let's put you here of mr man Right, we need to make a network. Right, create network. That one. And it's Shane's network. And we'll pick green because green seems to be the dominant color. And cre uh, create. No, it's not encrypted. There you go. Oh, it's. I think it's made it private, which is fine. I mean, I'm playing by myself. Yeah. Okay, surge mode, chunk loading, although I'm not quite sure if chunk loading works or not. I don't think it works. I think everybody says that in their let's plays. I don't think it works. And right, so provides energy. No. And this one receives energy. No. Yes. to network um, network why are you not what have I done wrong? Put in the wrong thing, haven't I? No, oh, the plug receives energy and it's the point that provides energy. Removing energy from your network. Alright, so this is what we want. Right? Alright, let's just try. 
let's just try a little i always get them i always get them mixed up wait a minute wait a minute Store that doesn't go oh i am an idiot we need the storage which goes on. not on top but basically it's the storage that i'm they all look the same and that That was the Now that's going to fill up. Going to take a while. I mean, I probably didn't need it going into the battery, but, you know, it gives it a bit of a buffer, at least. So then now, we can use this when we dis when, whenever we decide to upgrade our, our, our energy. It can go into this. Yeah, that makes sense. If we decide to do power, that can go into that. If we do lava, it can go into that. That makes sense. Okay, that's going to continue to go up slowly. That's doing its thing. Just going straight into here. Okay, that's fine. But that's one bit done. So now we have that. Go and sleep because we're not ablaze. And Whatever mobs are out here will, you know, get us. I don't do mobs, as you know. Go that way. Because there's going to be something waiting for me up that back door. Look at them. They're so... I've got to move that spawner out the way. It's blocking the fan. Or maybe put a fan upgrade so that it will um do two blocks instead of one. I don't know. Anything of interest? Not real. Oh, Desert Hills? Bonded Rabbit Hide. What? Yeah, we need to... We need we need to do this. I've never done that before. Alright, so... How are we going to do this? Because if we put it on top of... You know what? That block of acacia has lasted a really long time. Right, so if we put this here, tell it, uh, it needs water. Do we have sinks in this? No. Oh no, because that's, that's mechanism. All right, we do have aqueous accumulators. Aque, and that's what? Uh, copper redstone servo. All right, we can do that. All right, I don't, I can't remember how much water you need to put around an aqueous accumulator. But I don't think it's much. I feel like I'm going to regret putting water right there. But, you know. I think you need one on each side. In the middle? Yep. Information. Provide copious amounts of the don't drown. So if you put that there and water is bottom, that's done. Maybe we can hide this. There you go, that's hidden. You don't know it's there. Uh, what's in the other tank? Oh no, it's a latex process process unit. All right, so the back can get the energy. This Can this work? Ah oh, yeah, it can work with redstone. Run with a redstone. So then if I put um, like a lever on it, then that would work, right? Okay, so that's going here. It's filling with latex. And now that's going to keep running. Alright, we just need enough for one piece of rubber. No. Yes. So we need nine of these make one um, dried rubber. Alright. Don't mean plastic. Yeah, one dry rubber. 
So nine of these make one dried rubber, so we just need nine. We made all of that and we don't need it, but at least then we can take it apart and EMC it. Oh, it stopped halfway. Right. So we've got ten of these. These are not EMCable. Um do we have no we don't go inside. You know what would be interesting if, as a blaze, left a trail of fire everywhere? Super inconvenient, but it'd be funny. Wrong thing. Nine of you. One of you. Uh, then. Oh, we have plastic. Um, mob imprisonment tool is four of those. Four of those. Okay, I've, I've got to stop doing that because personally, I find it annoying when I'm watching YouTubers do it. So I've got to learn to stop doing it. But the thing is, when I'm watching YouTube videos, I don't necessarily. I'm not necessarily watching. Watching. I might be listening while I'm doing something else. So to hear four of those, and you're like, what? And then you've got to stop what you're doing to go and see what those are. So yeah, so we've got our mob imprisonment tool. Actually, let's get four of them. Eggplant. Oh, some of the seeds are EMCable. So the seeds that we have in here are these EMC. That is brilliant. Ah, brilliant. Tinker stuff is well. Oh. Oh, that is. Well, that means then I could. No, I'm not going to. Rip. I'll move it because I don't really need it anymore. That is. That is brilliant. I was wondering why it wasn't. I didn't see any reason for it not to be. Where's my axe? And we got, and oh, four, four of these. Let's not scare them. Because you know, see, look, I'm not, do I, do I look scary? I'm not scared. That was a bit too close. And as I've, as I've always suspected, nothing who we, Nobody in here. My friends, come to me. I promise you, you have a good life, you'll get fed. You are there, right? There might not be any villagers on the map now. I may have doomed this village. I don't know. There were some here before, but I did notice that. I did notice that, you know, there were zombie villagers in... Oh, hello, sir. Um, I'd like to come and join me? Thank you. We find any more of your brethren, sir? Or you might just want some thing to do. Oh, you need a cauldron for a little. Right. Oh, you there? You're there. Four of you. Two bit trades. Actually, that's good. That's good. Because we've got four of you. One has no trade. And two leather workers. I would have to set up a place for these to live. Which I'll do between episodes. But I've achieved what I wanted to do today. Which was to get some villagers. Trade with them. And then I can get lots of uh, lots of emerald for EMC. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.